When it comes to a short squeeze, you can think of it kind of like this bottle right here. Notice as I slowly squeeze and increase the pressure, the level of the water rises. A short squeeze works the same way. If I squeeze it fast, we get a little explosion and things get messy. And now that I've gotten my desk all wet, what better time to tell you in a bit more detail how a short squeeze actually works. But first, I gotta tell you, Mumu is gonna give you five free stocks when you sign up using the link down below in the description and deposit $100. And if you deposit $1,000, they're gonna give you 15 free stocks. Be sure to click on the Mumu link down below in the description, open your account, and get your free money. So first, let's talk about what is a short? A short is when you are profiting as the value of an asset goes down. So let's take a look at GME or GameStop. Uh, say you think the stock's going down and you want to make money off of it as it goes down. Let's say you get in at $100 and you ride it down to 50. Those shares that you got at 100 and rode down to 50, when you're shorting a stock, you are using borrowed shares. So in the instance, while you're borrowing the shares, say you sold them for $100, and then when you're done shorting them, you're able to hop back in and buy them back for $50. In that instance, you're able to return the shares back to the person holding them, and you're also able to collect $50 of profit per share that you're holding. That is the way that a short works. Now the way a short squeeze happens, say you borrow the shares at $100, now instead of the price coming down to 50, the price actually goes up to 120 and it continues to rise and continues to rise. And now the person who lets you borrow the shares isn't as confident that you're gonna be able to pay them back. So they either require you to add more money to your account or to close out the position and buy back the shares. If you don't have more money to add to your account, you're forced to buy back the shares. And when you buy back the shares, it further pushes up the price. And as you push up the price, anyone else still shorting the share is still being pressured to buy them back. And as people buy the shares back, it continues to push the price up at a fast rate because everyone is being called to purchase the shares back. Typically when this happens, the price of a stock moves quite dramatically when you look at it. A short squeeze starts off with a slow increase in pressure and then just like the water bottle, it just bursts up. And that's exactly what's going on with GameStop or GME. This GameStop situation is very unique because it's calculated. It has a lot of attention on it. A lot of people know what's going on with it and they want to be a part of it. So because of that, the squeeze pressure and the squeeze potential is much greater. So it can take a stock that's trading at $12 to well over $100 in a matter of weeks. And at the time of this video, it can take a stock that was trading at $28 to over $60 in less than 24 hours. So that is the GME short squeeze in a nutshell. If you learned anything from the video, be sure to smash the like button. If for some reason you made this far and haven't already, be sure to subscribe. And last, but certainly not least, thank you so much for watching. Matthew Manuel signing off, and I want to change your life.